In this video, we'll be going over what homology and analogy are, in addition to convergent evolution. It's actually very simple, and once you've got the hang of it, it'll pretty much stick with you the whole year. So to start, we've got homologous and analogous structures. Homologous structures are structures seen in multiple organisms that represent variations from a common ancestor. Let's say that the common ancestor had this arm-like structure. Over many years through natural selection and adaptions, many different animals are thought to have arisen with variations of this arm-like structure. In humans, we see this, and in cats we see something that's a little bit different. A lot of textbooks also include the whale fin and back, bat wing, all of which have originated from a common ancestor long ago. All of these forelimbs are constructed from the same basic skeletal structures, even though they have different evolutionary adaptations. In contrast, analogous structures are the ones that are extremely sim similar to each other, but they're not due to a recent common ancestor. Analogous structures result from what we call convergent evolution, which is when two or more organisms are in similar environments and develop similar body structures due to these environments. Here's a very common example of convergent evolution and analogous structures, the sugar glider in Australia and the flying squirrel from North America. Both of their body plans allow them to glide through the air, yet they do not have a recent common ancestor. Think about it. Sugar, sugar gliders had to adapt in Australia, which is totally isolated from North America. So because the environments that they were living in were very much alike, these similar structures resulted, and again, it's not as the result of having a common ancestor. So that's all for homology and analogy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video for AP Biology.